Hey everyone, it is Monday, October 21st, I'm just sitting here, it's kind of cool in here, it's fall time, I have my pumpkin spice candle going on, um, so today's topic for tonight, typically you know, I film during the day in my car. Um, but I wanted to film at night. By the way, look how... I'm going to show you guys. Always a busy city. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, so tonight's topic is going to be about, if I can get you straight, okay, so tonight's topic is transitioning from a workhorse Someone who used to work, 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 business, 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 into a housewife <laughs> or a stay-at-home mom, which I don't have kids. But this video is kind of like my own personal experience or transition to not being a workhorse and go, 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 like I used to. Um, so a couple years ago, I was juggling <coughs> a business, working a part-time job, started another business, managed employees, payroll, buying supplies, just always busy with business money going here for this money going there for that don't get me wrong it was a lot of fun however now i'm i'm tired <laughs> um, i'm really tired so i went from being someone who i mean i've always been business minded but it was too much it was too much it was just like I've always been motivated I've always been driven and like business minded however there's a transition point where you go from being a workaholic to being a stay at home wife or a stay at home mom now, I still have my business, but I'm not um, just taking on any and every client. Um, I'm more selective. I pick and choose who I want as a client. And I don't feel like I have to um, go, 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 go all the time. I look back on it and I wasted, not wasted, but... I used up so much energy being a workaholic, a workhorse. Go, 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 go. Leave this to go to that. Leave this business to go to the other business. And primarily it was me making money from one business, paying my employees to the other business because the other business, aka my vegan restaurant, um, there wasn't enough income coming in, so I would have to use income from my medical um, practice to pay employees for my vegan restaurant. So it's it's been a big transition in one year. Um, last December, I closed the restaurant down and I said, you know what? No, enough is enough. My health is more important. Um, I mentioned before, my blood pressure used to be really, really high. 
like it would stay at like 150 over 110 or something. It was terrible. Terrible. Um, so now, this is what I did to transition to help you ladies out who maybe did used to work, 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 and now you're transitioning to being um, not so much of a of a workhorse. So at first you become at, it's like a phase. At first you love all this free time. You have all this free time. And then after a while you kind of like you get bored and you're like okay well what is there to do <laughs> I'm not working like I used to so what is there to do there's a lot to do <laughs> there's a lot um, personally like with me I am always gonna be business-minded creative I'm always thinking of new ideas so being off or not having to work so much, excuse me while I eat some bingo, has allowed me to be creative and figure out what my next venture is going to be. Um, working out. I have more time. I love my hot Pilates class, my hot boot camp classes. Now, not working so much, I'm able to go and take my classes before I was running from working, trying to do a class, then running to doing something else work-wise. It's just too much. Women are not made to work like that. I enjoyed it while it lasted but i think there comes a time in everyone i could be i'm not speaking for every woman but there does come a time in everyone every woman's life she's ready to slow down let the man take care of the bills <laughs> um women are naturally more happier they're more healthier they're more just overall in good health when they're not having to work so hard like a man it's the truth um you know and it's The things I talk about is not for everyone, and I know that. I know that. I know that for a fact. There are some women who dog me out, saying I'm lazy. Did you? Yeah, right. <laughs> lazy? Okay. I've been working for a very long time, and I've done a lot. And, um, you know, some women enjoy working like a man. Um, or as much as their husband or whatever not me mm -mm. in your 20s you're in relationships you have to kind of go half and half because you're still so young so I'm not speaking to like 20-ish like younger audience I'm speaking to more like mid 20s and up audience when um, men typically become excelled in their career where they don't need your income to pay the bills. But when you are younger in your 20s, yeah, you do have to rely on two incomes to make it. Because you're young. You're, you're not where you should be at. And that's normal. So the 20 the younger 20 year olds that are like stay at home wives you're lucky <laughs> you got lucky but anyway there's so many things that you can do with your time um 
you know it is different it's a big difference when you go from working 50 hours a week to cutting it back you do typically you know what do you do what do you do with your time it's the perfect time to create new ideas new ventures new avenues what do you want to do next life is always about growth we are not meant to stay in the same spot we're not there are people who started businesses years ago created that business and now moved on to other businesses that are completely different than the first business that they established so life is all about growth we're not supposed to do the same thing we're supposed to grow things happen things change you know you get knocked down i have gotten knocked down before but there comes a time where as a woman you 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 don't want to be so masculine. And when you're working like that, that is a masculine trait. It's masculine. It's masculine to work like that. To where it's just, it just is. So a lot of women, they come to realize that they don't want to do that anymore. There's some women that still love working like that. But it's not healthy. Um, you gotta take care of yourself and to take care of yourself you need time you need time to take care of yourself so transitioning from someone who works to a stay at home mom or housewife it takes time to get used to that but eventually you'll figure out new ways of income new sources of income you know it allows you time to create all these different ideas so yeah um that's really what i wanted to make this video about and not really anything else but if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel please like this video give it a thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys later